Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Harry Koster. I'm a physical therapist at Spine and Rehab Specialist. Today I want to talk about a slap lesion and slap repair surgery. You know, if you have ever had any kind of, you know, shoulder issues and maybe have been recommended to have shoulder surgery, this is really good information for you. So what exactly is a slap lesion? It has nothing to do with me slapping anybody around, but it stands for superior labrum anterior to posterior. The labrum is a reinforcement of the socket of your shoulder joint, where there's cartilage that makes that socket a little bit deeper, but also helps to stabilize it. So a slap lesion is actually a tear in that labrum, right at the very top part where the biceps tendon attaches. So if you have a slap lesion, if you have a tear in that labrum, it will create you know, issues with shoulder stability and it may affect your strength and your range of motion. Here's a quick visual to help you understand. The labrum is a ring of cartilage that helps keep the shoulder joint stable. In a slap lesion, the labrum gets torn from the top where the biceps tendon is anchored. This can happen due to trauma or overuse, like in athletes who perform repetitive overhead movements. If you've ever been diagnosed with a slap lesion, you may be wondering what your treatment options are. A lot of times the first treatment option would be physical therapy. There's a number of exercises that we can perform to help improve your shoulder strength, help improve your shoulder stability, that may help your symptoms. Physical therapy can be really effective, but sometimes the damage is more severe and surgery might be necessary. That's where slap repair surgery comes into play. Slap repair surgery is a procedure where the surgeon goes in and fixes the labrum. Usually this is done arthroscopically, which means it's minimally invasive. The doctor will go in through a couple of small openings and fixes the damage to your labrum. During the procedure, the surgeon will reattach the labrum to the bone using small anchors. These anchors are often made of a bioresorbable material that will dissolve over time, allowing your body to heal naturally. The recovery process from a slap repair surgery may vary. Oftentimes you may have to wear a sling to protect the surgery and after that you start a rehabilitation process that mainly consists of exercises. These will be exercises to work on your range of motion, flexibility and then work on strengthening. It's crucial to follow your doctor's advice and not rush the recovery process. It can take several months to get back to your normal activities and sometimes even longer if you're an athlete or have a physically demanding job. So that's a wrap up on the slap lesion and slap repair. If you like this content, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we're looking forward to seeing you again with our next video.